Hello, in this video we are going to show how to use the Orient to Gems to place a special prongs to this line of gems, right? So I have the prong placer, that is this one that I can use very easily, but sometimes we want to change the shape, right? So let's show how to do this. The first thing that I will do is just hide this model. So I will just go and hide everything and I will create a gem with the similar dimensions to the one that we were talking about. So this will be probably about 1.5. And now what I will do, just let me hide it and I will create special setting that I want. So I will go with box and I will start probably from the center. And I will do a very small thing like this. And like this and I will create a sphere also that can play good with this prong let me move it up probably still too big I will make it smaller with a scale 3d all right and what I will do you know just to make everything smoother I will do use the shrink wrap. So a shrink wrap. Okay. And now I have you see all these areas that are smooth. If I get rid of the extrusion and also the surface, I get this prong that is a lot smoother everywhere. Again I will show the stone. And now from the top view I will move this prong to a location that I feel would be a good place to have it. I will keep playing with this. Now the important thing is that I can keep it here. I will do a mirror on the other side. And with these two guys also will do another mirror. Perfect. Now very important. I want to use this later on. Right? So what I will do is just move this one. And because I did all the mirrors and everything is parametric. I can move them wherever I want. So this is good. Now, this is a setting probably that I'll use later on. So what I will do is just go to my collections with the right button, I go directly to the collections. I will add a new folder that will be called settings. And from this, what I will do, I will get into this folder and I will select all this again i will go back here and i will import it save to collections and i will call my settings 1.3 1.5 millimeters and i will save this to collections okay now i can get rid of this as you can see i delete everything and i will bring into the document what I hide. So if I go to show, I get this ring, and now I want to use those prongs into these stones. So the only thing that I need to do is just go to my collections, I select this one, and I can use import. Not open, because if I do open, I will bring just this part. I want to import it, so I import. And from the moment that I import this setting that I created, I'm also importing all the steps that I used to make this so I can still make any change and everything will follow all right so we are create we created here a tool just for that now what will be the next will be the orient to gem I will select the base gem that is this one the objects to orient now because I just I don't want share prongs are these ones so one and two and the target gems always look into the command line are these ones so i get all the prongs in this area what do i need to do next just move them i just need to move them until i feel they are in the right spot so i like what i'm seeing here probably i could drop them a bit more 
so this looks beautiful as you can see here there is one spot left the only thing that i need to do is again render into gems with this gem with these objects enter to this stone and now i get the other prongs here so now i have my prongs in the right spot that i can use at any time so this is a little trick i hope you like it thanks for watching